Today I'm going to show you a uh, quick and easy way to downgrade from version 1.1.4. Uh, this also works for 1.1.3. Um, what you want to do is uh, so you go to my website, iPodTouched.blogspot.com. Come over to the right hand side over here, scroll down to where it says Downloads. You want to click on uh, Auto Downgrade. And that will uh, open up a new window to a mega upload site. What you're going to want to do is up here, let's just type in those three letters and click download. And then it'll take you to this other page where you uh, go under where it says free, it says wait 45 seconds. After you wait up to 45 seconds, you just click download, download that file. Um, after you uh, download the file, you're going to want to uh, extract the uh, zip file. Uh, once you have it extracted, what you want to do is um, make sure that your iPod's plugged in. Now you want to um, go to where it has this down. Uh, batch files to double click that to run it uh, and all you're going to want to do now is just follow the on screen instructions this is will uh, downgrade your 1.1.3 and it also works on 1.4 to a uh, older firmware so exit iTunes and kill the iTunes home from the task manager so we'll go ahead and do that at this point uh, close iTunes set the camera down click uh, alt control delete you want to kill uh, iTunes helper or in the process um, I already got mine done but so all you got to do is just select it and then do it in process uh, you can go ahead and just leave your uh, Apple mobile device services going just uh, close iTunes and uh, kill iTunes helper so it says now we'll just click uh, enter to continue so we'll do that It helps if you select the window after you click enter. Okay, as you can see, it's now in recovery mode. So it says, uh, wait for your iPod to show the connect iTunes screen, then hit enter. So you can see it is. Now you have to click enter. That will close. At this point, um, launch iTunes back up. And a message should pop up saying that your iPod's in uh, recovery mode. That just went white. And there it is, iTunes to take iPod in recovery mode. So now you can do is just click OK. Hold down your uh, shift button. Click on restore. Now you don't want to uh, select your uh, firmware 1.1. Now if you don't already have this, you can uh, download it from my website. But after you download it, make sure that you extract it. The file you want to select is the one that has this little uh, white box with the uh, music note and the uh, iPod. So we'll click open. And now it will uh, extract the software. Um, once it's done uh, restoring, I'll turn the camera back on. Alright, as you can see it uh, finished uh, restoring. Um, just be patient with it. It takes a little time, but it will work. Just don't touch anything. Just leave it alone. Let it do its thing. Now it's asking you to set up your iPod and it's saying that you can restore from a backup or set up as a new iPod. Uh, we'll try to restore from a backup. Uh, may not work. But we'll just go ahead and give it a try. Okay, if it gives you this error, all you gotta do is click OK. And then um, unplug your iPod and then plug it back in. Set the camera down and do that real quick. So unplug it. Plug it back in. Okay. Uh, this should be syncing back up. Uh, there it is. Updating, syncing. But that's it. Um, that's how you uh, downgrade from version uh, 1.1.4 to version 1.1.1. Uh, this also works for uh, version 1.3. Uh, don't forget to check out my website.